there, it is Max Imagination here. This time I was thinking, what can you make out of a juice box? And I thought to myself, there's no one else out there making amphibious juice box vehicles. So here it is. It can drive on land and it can swim in the water. It has a little propeller here and it has the wheels that turn by a little rubber band belt propulsion system. And if you want to know how to make it, let's get right into the tutorial. So here's all the materials you're going to need to make this. A juice box, of course. A soda bottle, plastic bottle. A pair of scissors. A Stanley knife. This foam noodle that I got off my foam gun. A tin can. Some AA batteries. Take four of them. And then a couple of these battery trays that can fit two AA batteries each. A couple of switches. Two DC motors. Some reflectors here with a little screw thingy at the end of them. Some plastic bottle caps, a straw, two wooden skewers, these little, uh, how do you call it, rolling thingies, pulleys, a rubber band, and then a little lollipop stick. And then I have a hot glue gun and some hot glue sticks, a soldering iron and some lead. One of these pieces of steel wire. And that's all you're going to need. You don't really need to do this. You can just start cutting into it. Or you can take a ruler and a pen and mark out a little rectangle that you're going to cut along. And this is how it should look like once you finished cutting it out. And while I was not recording, I also cut out these little rectangular small little holes for the switches to go in place. Then you're going to cut a little piece of straw off that's about 8.5 centimeters in length. And after that's done, you're going to glue it to your juice box. And you're also going to cut off a piece of skewer that is about 10 and a half centimeters in length. And these two other skewers that we're gluing on are 9 and a half centimeters in length. Now we're going to glue these two little straws on the ends of the skewers that are about two centimeters in length each. For the rear axle, we have this 10 and a half centimeter in length piece of steel. And we're also going to glue one of the big pulley systems on it. Oh, and I forgot, you're going to put this rubber band on it before you actually put this pulley system in and the axle. Then you're going to make a couple of holes at the back of this juice box, just above where we're going to make a pulley system. These holes are for the wires of the DC motor that we're going to place there. Then you're going to drop a big drop of this hot glue and place your DC motor right onto it. And now you're going to pull the wires through the holes and make sure they go inside the juice box. Now 
Now we're going to pull the positive end, which is the white wire of the DC motor, to the negative end of the switch. And then we're going to take the battery case, or whatever you want to call it, and you're going to take the negative end of that and pull it through the positive end of the switch. And you're going to take the, positive end, the negative end of the DC motor and the positive end of the battery, and then you're going to solder them together. First you're going to twist them, and then you're going to solder all the joints so that they don't come loose. Then you're going to make sure your switch doesn't fall out by putting a bit of hot glue in the inside of it. Now we're going to poke a hole in the very back. I recommend using a soldering iron to do it. This is going to be for our second DC motor where our lollipop stick is going to poke out for the propeller. Then you're going to glue a little section of cardboard. Make sure it is as wide as the juice carton is and you're going to glue it somewhere in the middle of the juice carton at the very bottom of it. And you're basically going to put the motor on it and it's going to hold the motor. And then you're going to do the same thing we've done with the other motor and the switch and the battery. Just take one more battery tray, wire up the wires as I showed you before. Glue the switch in place. And then glue the battery trays together. Oh, and make sure you glue the battery tray to the actual juice carton so that it doesn't wobble around while we're using this. Thing. So let's see if it works. So now we're going to cut off these little sections of foam from the foam noodle to make sure that the ball caps can sit inside it and that makes your wheel. Now we're going to make some holes in these bottle caps. The red ones, as you can see here, that I have, are going to go at the front for the bigger axle, which is the wooden skewer. And the black ones will go to the rear axle, which has the little steel rod. So make the holes a bit smaller for that one. And finally, for the wheels, we're going to glue the bottle caps into this foam, basically. We call it the foam tire. <laughs> Now it's time to glue our wheels to the axles, as shown. Then you're going to take your tin can and you're going to cut a little square piece out, about 4 by 4 centimeters. You're going to mark it with a black marker, a permanent marker, and then you're going to cut it, the excess off it so it creates a circle that is 3 centimeters in diameter. Like I showed in my last video, you're going to cut three grooves in our propeller, what is going to be a propeller, and make sure you twist them. Then you're going to round up the edges on the propeller, so it looks more like a boat propeller. After that's done, you're going to poke a hole in the very middle of our propeller, so that's big enough to fit over this little axle that we're going to mount it onto. 
This is how it should look like once you glued it on, but there will be some excess hanging out, so you're going to have to cut that excess off. Now taking a soldering iron, you'll be poking a couple of holes on the top for these um, reflectors. You don't need to do this, but since I have some reflectors, I'm going to make it look like, like some sort of light. Now we're going to cut the middle of our bottle off. So you're going to cut the top and the bottom off and you'll have the middle left. Spread our sheet of plastic out. Then you're going to use a straight edge, basically your ruler and then your knife, and you're going to cut it off. And you can even use some scissors. Just to make it a lot faster and easier, we're going to put some super glue on the edges of this green thing we have. And we have these little plastic things that are cut off from a container. And these little clear plastic pieces are about 10 centimeters in length. Once that's glued, you're going to cut off the excess, as shown. After gluing one more of those little container pieces of plastic, you're also going to cut the excess of that off, so it makes this little dome-shaped piece. And finally, we're going to hot glue it down to the juice carton, using some hot glue. <laughs> We're done making it. It's time to test it out. Anyway guys, that is all for this video of how to make the amphibious vehicle that can drive on land and on water. I've been quite happy so far of all the results of the looks and how it drives and how it swims in the water and how it all functions. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching guys! See you next week! Peace!